What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Battlefield 2042 and how there seems to be a lot of uh, speculation kind of swirling around uh, free things coming to the game. Lots of stuff being free. Of course, we know they're going to have a battle pass. DLC is going to be free and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of people are talking about some of the modes being free. And the reason this kind of got brought up was because during a recent EA earnings call, the, e, uh, the EA CEO, Andrew Wilson, was asked if Battlefield was expected to be back on a two-year cycle. He said he wants to see uh, he wants people to see Battlefield 2042 as a kind of long-term engagement, a kind of service, if you will, I guess is the way he was kind of wording it. Uh, something that's going to be a thing that's out and doesn't really go away. I don't think that Battlefield 2042 is going to become a free-to-play game. Uh, I would be shocked if it did. It may down the road at some point later on after the next Battlefield title's out. But he's hinting at uh, if you have a live service style game, this is going to kind of go hand in hand with free to play in the future. He's talking about wanting the game to be played on all platforms, even mobile in the future. And he says a long term engagement, like I said, it often goes hand in hand with free to play. But again, he said there weren't jumping hurdles with one leap. Uh, he says they're wanting to transition the series kind of into free to play, but you could explore the model in the future as well within the mobile space. So I think this is kind of where all the rumor and stuff's kind of coming from that some parts of the game may be free. Uh, some people may be thinking they're going to do some modes free, kind of like if you look at Warzone and Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare you had to pay for, but Warzone, of course, was free uh, later, later down the road. And I think this could be big for Battlefield because this year there's a lot of hype around Battlefield. Of course, it's back to that modern kind of era, a little bit in the future even, and people are really, really excited about it. They're really excited about playing it on new gen. I think the whole concept of Battlefield going free in the future would be big for the community if it was handled correctly. We know that there's a lot of developers from the Call of Duty side uh, of gaming that have come over to DICE and now are working for DICE and doing a lot of stuff with this. And I think they've probably been asking those guys a lot of questions about Warzone and how that worked and how they started you know, developing that and how they kind of got into that free-to-play space. But overall, like I said, I think this could be big for the community. If there's an option down the road to play any Battlefield game for free on any platform and everyone can play together, it's going to make the Battlefield community even bigger than it is now. One reason the Battlefield community, in my opinion, has not grown, of course, I've played all the Battlefield games over the years, is kind of it, it separates the player base out a lot, except for recently when they started adding the free DLC in, but in the past, or the DLC in, but in the past it was, you know, you had the base game and then the DLC cost extra money, so some players had DLC, some didn't, it kind of split the player base up. The updates at times were bad in some of the Battlefield games, but I think if we had one universal Battlefield game that didn't change, you know, we had a live service Battle Pass style system, you know, free updates, free maps, and then they just kind of evolve the game from year to year. I think that would be really big for Battlefield, and Battlefield could become as big as some things like people would say Call of Duty with the player base wise. I think this could be a kind of look into the future of what EA is planning, do, planning on doing. Uh, especially if, uh, if Battlefield 2042 has the success I think they're hoping for, even though they haven't really raised their sale numbers considering all the hype around it. They said they're going to keep those sale numbers the same. They're just kind of idea of what they're planning on selling. But I think if it comes out in beta, people are enjoying it. I think it's going to be a big success when it comes to, you know, coming out on old gen and new gen. And I'm hoping everybody can find a new gen console by the time, you know, Battlefield comes out or a little afterward, uh, afterwards because I know a lot of people are looking forward to playing that 128 player kind of style game, you know, being able to play with the Xbox, NPC, cross-gen, all that good stuff. But guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see Battlefield be a free-to-play game in the future? Would you like to see some free things come to Battlefield 2042? And what do you expect for Battlefield 2042 kind of going ahead? Do you think it's going to become a free-to-play game eventually? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.